Nep Nep, and welcome back to another episode of Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth 2 Sisters Generation. In the last episode, we head over to Lean Box to answer the distress call, but just like I suspected, it was all a distraction. Because of that, we left Planetune alone, and he swore gets kidnapped by ASIC by CFW Trick of all people. I'm not surprised, but I am angry about it. With he swore as a hostage, we are told to meet the demands by bringing the CPU candidates alone. We meet their demands only to have Rom and Rand stand idly by as Nepgear and Uni get tortured by Underling of all people. How annoying, but having a hostage does that to you. But eventually the CPUs come to the rescue as Rom and Ram power up and we destroy that menace to game industry once and for all. Now we just have one more commander to beat, CFW Magic. Let's get our nation back and pay that witch back tenfold. Guys, if you're excited to see what happens in this episode, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing this playlist with someone you know who might be interested in this series. Okay, everyone, so I'm sure you're all confused to why we're on the Lily Rank thing, but there's one thing that I need to tell you all just, just in advance. So, in order to get the true ending of the game, you have to get Nepgear's Lily Rank with everybody to at least four, and I have been doing that off screen. There's only a couple of people that I haven't done yet. So, I'm close, but I'll, I'll get there eventually. Anyway, guess what level I am? Yeah, <laughs> I think we're more than ready to take on this witch. We are all level 70 because we had Vert join our party, as well as Tekken, because, yeah, we had to get the, we had to get the residents of Leanbox. Luckily for you all, I managed to get the Tekken meeting recorded as well as Verse. So we're going to play both of them simultaneously. So let's roll the meeting clip. Hello, Nepcare. Long time no see. Huh? Um, sorry, do I know you? Oh, right. I wasn't in this game before. My name is Tekken. He swore asked me to come and lend you my aid. Goodness, that sounds lovely. Thank you very much for coming! But, um, I see that you don't have any weapons. And you're not even wearing any shoes. Oh, about that! I'm a fighter! So I use my fists and feet. I guess they're my only weapons. A fighter, huh? That's neat. I haven't met a fighter quite like you before. Let's have fun traveling together, Miss Tekken. It's just Tekken is fine. I can't wait to show you what I'm made of! Mm. I feel as though I have regained most of my strength. I mustn't force the others to carry on without me. I shall show them what I can. Hmm? Heavens, it seems that tomorrow is the release date for the new RPG I've been looking forward to. Hmm. Perhaps the world can wait just one more week while I speed through that game. Um, Vert? Oops. Did you by chance hear me? Every word. Oh, I knew that, so I was playing a joke on you. I would never put my gaming habits before the world. But I really don't think people are making jokes when they're talking to themselves. M my Such attention to detail this one has. Uh, anyway... I will now show you how strong grace and beauty can be. Look forward to my skill! Alright everyone, with that out of the way, I hope you guys are ready because we are going to take Monotune back. But first, we seem to have some events. You know how it goes, we have to do the events first because you know they could be fun. So let's head to Leanbox since Vert did just join us. A new online game from Planetune. This game is called Nepsword. The elf sounds like Nepgear, so I named her appropriately. Good morning, Vert. Oh my, welcome. <laughs> how rare for Neptune's little sister to come and visit me. Please make yourself at home. Thank you. Wow, this room is more amazing than I imagined. Really? This is a normal room, no? It's definitely not normal. I mean, it's so clean and refined. Well, this is our guest room. Keeping it clean is only natural. Still, how interesting. I had no idea that you would react to this room in such a way. This room holds only the bare minimum of my personal belongings. Huh? 
bare minimum? Of course. About 2%- only about 2% of my total belongings are in this room. Um, where would the other 98% be? Tossed haphazardly into the adjacent room. The room is about the same size, but it is packaged from the floor to the ceiling with no room to walk. Goodness. Goodness indeed. Chica is so cruel. Did you know she never bothered to tidy up that room during my absence? It's dusty, damp, and... <sighs> what shall I do? I am afraid if I move anything else in there, I'll find mold. I have no comment. Well, since you are here, why don't I show you the other room as well? No, thank you. I'm plenty satisfied with this room. Hmm, I suppose there isn't enough space for both of us to stand in that room. Oh, thank goodness. I'll be sure to cram everything into a corner and make the necessary space for us before you return again. I truly wish for you to experience the dank, warm air that emanates from that room. Please don't wish for such strange things. What a strange event that was. But honestly, I, I, I kind of relate. You gotta package your stuff in boxes and then you just don't want to take them out. I feel that. We have another event with Vert. Nepgear visited again. Having her and Chica around is like having two little sisters. Chica, do you play the MMO Four Goddesses Online too? What? No, I don't. But look at all your PCs. These all belong to my darling sister. All of them? Yes, only one is turned on now, but she usually has the rerunning so she can play as three characters. Chica, I have a question for you. Yes, my dearest Vert. It seems I now need five times the experience points to level up in this game. Is this a bug from an update? That is a feature, not a bug. When they added new classes last year, that's just what happened. So they adjusted the entire game's balance to accommodate new classes? I simply must try these new options. Were any changes implemented to the hunting and farming locations? If you play with a party, yes. But if you are playing solo, the maps are generally the same. This is a tip you told me once before, actually. Hmm, yes, you're right. You say you don't play the game, but you seem so knowledgeable. It's only natural for me to be this way since I've been with Vert from the moment I was born. I wonder about that statement. Whatever do you mean? I checked your browsing history. You have been reading walkthroughs for the game on Enchan again. Huh? What are you trying to say? That's not true at all! Your cache doesn't lie. You're the only one besides me who would possibly use these computers. You really should learn to delete your browsing history if you want your actions to remain a secret. Ugh. <laughs> you're so cute when you're caught red-handed, Chica. Oh my. <laughs> Another one! Vert just doesn't stop! Hmm. Why am I the only CPU with a sense of class? How frustrating. And then this is so honey. I thought I Neptune, chew and then speak. Do not attempt both at once. You're so disgusting. Just shut up and let me read. You are no place to talk, blonde. It's rude to read at the dinner table. Ew, green peas? I'll just slide those into my napkin and no one will be the wiser. Noir, stop being a picky eater. It's a horrible example to set for your little sister. Huh? Oh, fine, fine. <sighs> Is something the matter or are you just smitten with me? No, neither. I was just realizing that you're the most like a big sister out of all the CPUs. I do hope you are not making an implication about my age. Huh? Uh, no, not at all. I see. That is fine then. You know what though? It's kind of ironic that you're the only one without a younger sibling. It's not necessarily my intention to fill the role of elder sister, but I have little choice. Really? Think about it. Neptune is... Neptune. Noir is all about herself, and Blonde lacks any cooperative skills. If they had no big sister figure to keep them in check, it would be sheer chaos. Well, it wouldn't be that horrible. You say that because you weren't around to see how they used to act. It was even worse than now. Oh, Neptune was the only exception. She has gotten worse and worse. Really? 
Despite that, perhaps now is the best balance we've ever had. I would never be able to care for all of them and a little sister of my own at the same time. Although, a low-maintenance younger sister like you would be more than welcome. What? Me? I am kidding, of course. Now then, Blonde, please close your book. I will not ask you again. She was just joking? It didn't really feel like it. Okay, I need to make a comment about this. So, for some of you that already know, Vert's character changed drastically Where in the sequel sequel of this game, as in the third game. Going? She eventually became somebody who just thirsts for a younger sister. That entire cutscene that we just witnessed was the most reasonable Vert will ever be. And that's kind of sad. I really liked how actually responsible and sisterly she was in that cutscene without being creepy about it. And I miss that Vert. I miss her so much. It's a shame that she was just... Her entire character was changed to the stereotype of just wanting a little sister and being a pervert towards all the little sisters. So yeah, you better put that, you better put that cutscene in your memory because that is the last time you will ever see Vert as a reasonable, mature adult woman. Okay, we seem to have three events here. Wow, lots of events. That was a strange dream. Was that brave? I'd rather not have a dream like that ever again. Hmm? How strange. I believe I was just taking care of some of my duties at the Basilicom a moment ago. You must be Last Station's Oracle. Is someone there? Who are you? I am one of the four felons, CFW Brave. I have come to discuss the matter of grave importance. If Uni's account is correct, you've repented for your evil ways. I will listen as a diplomatic gesture. I see. I wish to discuss my taking of a CPU candidate as my- Not again! Now- Now the- Now Kay is having these dreams! Okay, Brave, you need to calm your ass down in the afterlife, for real. Uni? Her? Indeed! This sounds unbelievably surreal, but this proposition does carry some value. I appreciate your understanding! First, to set in stone, I will need a certain amount of money that will act as a dowry. A dowry? Why the groom? Think, you, some ex-soldier, intend to take one of the most important women in our nation as your wife. For you to rise so high status-wise, isn't it appropriate to give something of equal value to the bride's family? Is that how it really works? Naturally. Second, although you've repented, you once belonged to ASIC. That past will tarnish Uni's name. To mitigate any outbursts from the citizens, I want you to perform five years' worth of social services. Five years. That's a long time. No CPU can ever marry into a different household, so you will be taking on her family name rather than vice versa. Plus, her existence is technically an asset of the nation, so all of your belongings will fall under her name. Well, I have no interest in those assets of hers, but do I not get any say in their usage? Marry her and you marry last station. You will work for the nation, but as family, you are not owed as a salary. However, you will still need the money to cover your own living expenses, so you may work so you may work a second job. This is a bit harsh, no? You seem like you have the vitality, thanks to your destructive rampages. There's plenty of work to go around. Oh, once you two are wed, I'll give you the title Minister of Labor and the Bomb, Shield, and Poison Tester. You'll have no subordinate in this new department, but, I'll cert but I'm certain your talents and stamina will suffice. Wait, hold on. That position is setting off too many red flags for me. Hmm, I had no idea it would be such a sacrifice to have a CPU for my wife. I must retreat for now. Alright, go K! Oh, but wait, I haven't had the chance to give more details on the actual work you'd be doing. Wow, Kay, you scared him off. Good job. Just a dream, I see. What a shame. He would have proven quite useful in advancing my own ambitions. But ultimately... Uni, you attract the wrong kinds of men. What? Why are you being a jerk? Never mind me. <laughs> wow! <laughs> 
Okay, I think Brave is gone now. <laughs> Marrying Uni is too threatening. Neptune's here today. But it's not like that makes me happy or anything. Hey, Noir, I'm gonna buy a swimsuit. Got any ideas of what's in style? A strange question coming from you. Maybe you should stick to a white school swimsuit, kid. All right, recommendation received. I'm gonna get exactly what you said. What? Neptune, I was joking! Oh, you were? Such cruelty, Noir. I was more serious than usual. My bad. I didn't think you'd actually listen to my advice. Here, have a hard candy. It's my way of apologizing. Dude, I love hard candies! Okay, with that settled, I'm gonna ask what sort of water lingerie you were gonna get for this year. I bought one three years ago before we were captured, so I guess I'll use that since I've only got to wear it once. How's the, uh, size? It's three years old, so maybe, you know? Now you're making me worry. Fine, wait right here. I'll go put it on real quick. Oh, I remember this one. Oh my. <laughs> you flaunt your stuff, Noir. Very nice. Okay, we get a jiggle, jiggle physics, you can stop. I'm back! It doesn't feel tight anywhere, but... How does it look? <laughs> what? Why are you staring at me? Oh, I see! You're amazed by how well, well fit into a three-year-old bikini. Right? How do you like my perfectly shaped and firm breasts? And my eye-catching hips? Jealous much? <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it! <laughs> no, you're, you're on her all day with your jokes! What? What's so funny? It's <laughs> inside out of fashion art! <laughs> what? Do you mean my swimsuit? Jeez, say something sooner! I'll go change right now! while, okay? It's not my fault I wore it wrong. Anyone would have made that mistake. It was inside out and you were like, do you like my body? I'm so perfect or whatever. That settles it. From now on, wearing your swimsuit inside out is gonna be referred to as noir style. Stop using my name in weird ways. Oh man, I gotta tell Burton Blonde. No, don't do that. Teasing, of course. You zinged me with that white school swimsuit, so now we can call a joke truce, okay? Your secret's safe with me. Don't sweat it. Well, the way you said it didn't sound like a joke at all. Don't make me regret believing in you. Yeah, but you punchlined me first. I say you got your just desserts. <laughs> Fine. Pranks and such are the best use in special moments. I've learned my lesson. Oh, Ned Jr. is phoning me. Hey, y'all, what's up? I'm at Noir's. So listen to this. Something awesome happened. Noir was showing off her swimsuit to me, but then... Neptune! And she was all... You know you can't deny my bombshell of a body. Isn't that hilarious? You just said you wouldn't tell anyone about that. No! She didn't say it was inside out, though. <laughs> I mean, she was just making fun of your actions. Okay, uni time. That concludes this project. Next up is this. No, before that, I need to finish this other thing. Noir, aren't you working too hard? You've been working harder than our computer server since your return. Rest before you overheat, wouldn't you? But I've been absent for three years. I must get as much done as soon as I possibly can. The sooner I restore peace to last station, the better. Sorry, Noir. If only I was more like you. Don't apologize to me. You did what you had to while I was gone. Protected our nation. Noir. Alright, break time's over. What? You barely even sat down! Yeah, well, I don't want to fall asleep by accident. I'd rather work. Alright, so my next, next task is... She is going to pass out. <laughs> And that's how she's been acting ever since we brought her back. I see. Your sister is so diligent. 
How are things on your side? Is Neptune trapped in a room huddled over paperwork all day? Um, well, my sister's more like... It's D! You have me pushing too many pencils! I'm too tired to do any more work! Wait, Neptune! There is no escaping your duty! Yo, Iffy! Best timing ever! You gotta help me! If she's forcing me to work, sweatshop hours! I'll die! I'll crawl, kick the bucket and... CPU successfully captured. What? Iffy, did you accept Iffy's bribes? Bribes? You better watch your mouth. She just asked me to capture you if you tried to run away from her. Here you are. Next time, try binding her feet to a chair so she can't run. Thank you for the tip. Now then, let us get back to work, Neptune. No! Iffy, you traitor! Turncoat, demon, ogre, netherlander, eggplant advocate! You lied to me! She's calling for you. <laughs> Miss Neptune is more like the older sister. Neptune has her strong points too. Oh yeah, what's blonde like at home? She's always in her room. She never plays with us. She works hard with Mina. That just means blonde is diligent too. I wonder what kind of life Vert lives. Playing games? No way. She's a big gamer and all, but she's also the nation's CPU. I doubt she just sits in place all the time. I bet she works and plays games at the same time. Goodness, I would imagine Vert can control her addiction better than that. Achoo! What's the matter, Vert? Did you catch a cold? No, someone must be gossiping about me. More importantly, I must switch gears back to working. Vert, please decide to either work or play games. Do not do both at the same time. What are you saying? I can neglect neither games nor work. They are both of the utmost importance. That said, working without rest for an entire week is certainly demanding. Hmm, then why not take a little nap? I just said I can neglect neither. If I sleep, I lose time for both. I understand. Do as you wish. Allow me to prepare you some coffee in the very least. You'll never rest at this rate. I hope that your desires don't end up getting you sick. Wow, this cutscene is long. Their worth ethics aside, all our older sisters are extremely busy. Can't we do anything for them? We're not allowed. Meh, if they can take a break to play, they should at least break to, take to refresh themselves or something. Refresh themselves? I wonder... Oh yeah! Listen to this idea! You thought of something that fast? Yes, let me explain. I wonder why they would call us all together like this. Beats me! How is kept in the dark? This is inconvenient. I'm really busy. Who cares? Let's just see what it is! Ned Jr., where ya? Welcome home, my lady. Welcome home, my lady. Welcome home, my lady. Welcome home, my lady. Aww, look at them. So cute. Holy moly, maid waifus, you guys. What's going on here? We prepared you a table. Please take a seat and wait a moment. Hold on, exclamations first, please. A surprise party? <laughs> You've been working so hard without taking a break, so we planned this in secret. We've gotten approval from each of the oracles, so please forget about our duties for now and relax. Wow, low three, my tears of joy. Nip Junior, you're the bestest sister ever. My, I'm quite jealous. Everyone has such darling sisters. Noir, I made this cake for you. How does it look? You baking something? Hmm. I suppose it looks pretty. Looks don't matter, only taste. Allow me to taste test everything. But... Hey, stop that, Neptune! Why are you eating my cake when you have one of your very own? The 
grass look greener over on your side of the pasture or whatever. We got lots of cake, so who cares? I care! Jeez! You need made this for me! If that's your stance, then maybe I'll go ahead and help myself to your cake! Heck no, girly! Nick Jr. made me this bad boy, and I ain't never giving it up! But you took mine first! Calm down, Noir. I made several. No, no, Neptune. Only a bad girl takes someone else's food, okay? Uh, Mon Blanc? We made it because it's your name, too. It looks kind of funky, but we use all the right ingredients, so it should taste just fine. Okay, thank you, both of you. What a touching scene. You can't have any. I'm not so I'm not slovenly that I'd beg for scraps, but witnessing all this sibling love gives me a deep, hungry sorrow. Well, Lady Vert, I actually made you some tiramisu. Would you care to try it? Just for me? Heavens, thank you so much. This shall fill the hole in my heart. Yum, horrific! That looks awesome too! Vert, give me a bite, just a corner! I politely refuse. This cake was made exclusively for me. No one else may lay claim to even a nibble. No, Vert, you're being a pig! That's so cute. Honestly, the tournament looked look like it was kind of like IF based. Our sisters are having fun. Thanks to your idea. <laughs> it was nothing special. We had fun too. Everyone always makes cake for us, so it's neat to make some for them. Don't you think so, Rom? Uh-huh. I want to bake cakes again. Maybe next time we can get Isor, Ayak, and Kampa to help too. Sure. We need to master some new recipes from Cake Master Kampa before we have a repeat performance. Well, that cutscene lasted an eternity, but that was a very sweet event. So there's only one more event, and it's Falcon. I think I'm actually going to not do it. I think we need to move on. It's already past 25 minutes. So let's move on, shall we? Wow, the battle's already started without us. It's like this all over the place. Seems we got the upper hand for the time being. Then we just gotta beat up the old lady and call it a day. Victory! This will be a wondrous battle that allows us CPUs to settle a grudge that began three years ago. You bet your booty. We're gonna spank her good. CFW magic! It took you long enough. Get that silver platter ready, cause you're gonna give me back my planet tune on it. We're gonna defeat you while we're at it, too. More words without action. Three years ago, none of you were able to even scathe me. Perhaps. But much can change in three years' time. Totally! We're here now, so hop! And we weren't with them three years ago. Don't underestimate the strength of us humans. We're gonna help the CPUs big time. Just you watch! My songs will fill us with strength! Strength in numbers, is that it? A tactic reserved for the weak and cowardly. Words without action, right? Where one person may fail, they can succeed with the help of others. I mean, have you seen all my awesome wifeys in action? They'll never lose to oh my, you. Oh my god, we finally got a wifey from Red after two episodes where she kept her mouth shut. Shocker. I don't think we're going to make it to 100, but let's hope we make it to at least 50. Prepare to be cleansed, you. Are you all quite finished? If so, I ask that you sacrifice your lives to our goddess. No thanks. I'd rather eat my shoes. We're going to defeat you! Finally, Neptune learns her EX drive. I won't lose! I'll do this great. Okay, as you guys can see, while I was grinding and doing my own business off screen, I pretty much planetunified all of the CPU candidates. Don't judge me, the color purple is the best, okay? Also, yes, we have cat ears on both Nepgear and Uni, and I gave little butterfly accessories to Ram and Ram, so I think that this is good. All right, we're just gonna, Time we're just gonna turn on HGD right away. We're not going to even waste time. So everyone is level 70, so I'm sure that will be very helpful. Turning on HGD on everyone! Now. Processor unit, 
All right, Netko, you are going to immediately use offensive cheer on everyone, just like you always do when we're fighting. Let's go. Offensive cheer! The game in Oh, jeez. Hang in there, Rom. Transformation complete. Come on, you can do it. You're okay. Okay, hey, let's race. I'm raising stats. Could heal everyone, but nah. I'm going to just, yeah. Raise your vitality. I'll be cheering for you. Okay. Processor unit set. Transformation complete. You will also do it. I'm also going to raise your mentality. I can be like Rom too, you know. <laughs> okay, Rom, I think we might need to heal you, but let's not have you heal yourself. We'll have maybe Nick here. That is. That is. Hyper here heal. we go. You think they're taking the most damage, Rom. Oh, jeez, oh, yeah. Okay, this chick hits hard. Not a surprise. Also, so that's a huge problem. Rom, screw it. You're healing everybody. I'll heal you now. I'm amazed the fact that she heals everyone makes her SP go down like three. Within my, it's my turn. Okay, this is going pretty well. We were just caught off guard to start. Define me. I can take care of. It. Okay. Now she's missing. You're good. I'm just, I'm, I'm just skipping the animations while we build up the turn. gauge, and then I'll, I'll keep, turn the animations back on. Almost rich. there. Rom, heal everyone now. again. So, who should I fight first? Come on, girl, you can do it. Okay, her HP is going down faster than her guard. We might be able to take her down with specials. You know what? Screw it. It's my turn. Netgear, we're doing Superior Angels. Me and Netgear will go first. Screw it. We're going all out. Revenge, bitch. Oh, you child. Damn. Okay, we are next. Revenge for their sisters. Netgear, you finish this up. Make us all proud. Multiple beam launcher. Got her. I still have to get better. All right, that was pretty good. Level up. Good. I'm in the groove. You won. We really won. Yeah. She's gonna have some real black eyes after that walloping. I knew we were strong female. I feel kind of sad that I couldn't have Neptune take part, but it's okay. This is revenge for the. This, this is the little sister's revenge. So oh, this is where my fate has led me. Then, so... The other skirmishes are dying down. I dare say that your ambitions are at their end. ASIC is kaput, and we stop the deity of sin from reviving. <laughs> Hate to break it to you, Ram, but this is chapter five. Chapter five out of eight. So I'm pretty sure the deity of sin is probably gonna revive. What's so funny? Her revival cannot be stopped. My death brings our end goal to fruition. Oh, so you had to die. Oh, wait. Maybe all of the felons had to die to revive her. Oh, so they wanted us to destroy them. Interesting. What? What are you saying? Stop trying to bring us down. We, the four felons, were created by our goddess. We were meant to act as her vessels in this world. Our deaths do not mark our end. Rather, her beginning. How does your death relate to the deity of Sin's revival? Tell us Put now! Put the pieces together, IF. They said that their vessels, if they die, they can take over. Four felons. Vessels. I think I understand. Our lifeless bodies will return to our goddess's side and will prove sufficient to revive her. Oh, nuts! 
I'm pretty sure that she means beating her up made things worse for us. Even if we didn't, the deity of sin would have revived eventually, New. We lose either way. I so wish to remain at our goddess's side in this form. But that is now a fading dream. Well, shoot. She's gone. If what she said is true... Yowza! This rumbling... Is this the deity of sin? Up there's the game ministry graveyard. Let's see how many different game systems I can point out. So, I can see a GameCube over there. That's a Game Boy SP. I think that, is that the Dream Dreamcast or... I don't really know a lot of the older Nintendo systems. And I think that's a Wii over there. All right, I have cleared chapter five. Yet again, I fail to expect that they would have such a well-prepared plan in place. Is the deity of sin going to revive? Most likely. I gained intel stating that a powerful aura is emanating from the game industry graveyard. That really bites my bullet. Here I thought we beat up the bad guys and stuff. What's going to happen now? Our information seems to indicate that R4 will not stop until all game industry has been devoured. If our research holds true, that will mean the end of this world as we know it. How reassuring. I still don't understand why ASIC would want to revive such a dangerous being in the first place. Some people just want to watch the world burn. Cults like that have existed in the past, after all. I feel bad for the ones who are being used as unwitting tools to that end. Stop it! You're making me feel bad for the members of ASIC, you. I will never feel bad for CFW Trick. But I do feel bad for Brave. Hmm. Instead of flapping our mouth wings, we should flap our arm wings and hunt down R4. As if it would be that easy. She's probably called a goddess for a reason, you know? But if we don't, this world is done for. That's why we go out, beat her, then come home for snacks. Goddess or not, as long as I have my wifey brigade, losing is not an option. I think we should beat her up too. It'll be a cinch for someone as super sweet as me. Listening to you kids really makes the situation sound less severe than it actually is. <laughs> But they may be right. Our approaches may be different, but our end goals are all the same. Our time is short. That much is certain. We must decide our plan while R4 is still reviving. Once she exits the game industry graveyard, that's it for us all. The situation is critical. This will be our last battle. I am sorry to constantly ask for you to put your lives on the line. Isti, you talk so much, I hear your voice when I close my ears. Don't worry about it, okay? Neptune's right. Isn't it our sworn duty as CPUs to protect game industry with our lives? As Louise CPU, I have a personal interest in seeing the goddess said to have been born in my nation. The final boss battle is the most exciting moment in any game. I cannot wait to face her. Rest assured, Istwar. We'll definitely win. Thank you. I pray for your victory and for the safety of game industry's future. We are not going. Not yet. We're going to be doing more events because we have a little bit of time. We may as well have some fun. Oh, wow. Yeah, let's have some fun. Neptune. <laughs> huh? What the goodness? No way. I could never do that. 
Ippy and Kampa told me about how you were cutting carpet or whatever on the stage in Lean Box, so I want to dance and show my stuff too. That was back then, and it was really in the spur of the moment. In retrospective, it was very embarrassing. Tut tut, drop the shy act. In this day and age, everyone who's anyone needs to be able to sing and dance. So basically, I'm going to go ahead and schedule a promotional video for the two of us. No, wait, we don't have a song or choreography or... Wait, I haven't even agreed to this yet. Mm, you're right, we need to practice. I'm glad you'll be here to complete my sentences, buddy girl. No, that wasn't what I meant at all. Two stars! Yo-ho, yo-ho, it's the idol's life for me. How did she even get this idea? And thus began the intense training for the fabled promotional video until one day... Dunsies, we've done a promo video success! Yes, we really did it! I'm one happy glam! After all that hard work, it brightens my smile to see you excited too! We worked hard, so of course I'm happy! Hurry up, Neptune, play it for me! Alright, here comes our mad gyrating hips in the crisp HDD! Now! Um, seeing myself dance like that is actually kind of embarrassing. Ain't no thing. You're super cute and a little bit sexy, Nep Jr. Um, thank you. I'm surprised at the quality of the camera work in this video. Yeah, it's perfecto! The world shares are ours! There actually is a video of the two dancing in HTD. I was honestly nervous they were gonna play it, and then I had to mute it because I'm pretty sure the song is copyrighted. Wow, okay, everyone's here. I think there's a part two to that event. Let's just finish off this idol event. Looks like the PB is a success. Howdy, folks! Rip for me and Nick Jr. Hey, Nick Jr., guess what? Our video is a smash hit! Folks all over the world are mashing that thumbs up button thing and using the pound signs and stuff. Oh, really? I hope it's enough to bring us some shares. Our popularity shot through the roof, so the shares are sure to come crashing in real soon. Good, maybe dancing around in such a flashy clothing was worth it in the end. Neptune, you're going against the rules of the regulations with this! Yikes, Noir! Why are you here? How dare you try to increase your popularity through something like that! You're a chubby little cheat! Um, may I ask what the problem is? She's pissed about seeing Neptune's promo video streaming all over Last Station. I have the same complaint. Blonde? The cheers are crazy loud in Louis. They're all chanting your dumb name. Miss Nepgear, you have lots of fans. Ah, uh, so it seems the situation is not limited to Leanbox. I cannot believe you would pull such a stunt. Yeesh, what is this, some kind of intervention? Come on, ladies, we're just trying to get our shares back from ASIC. We aren't trying to be stars. Then that is even worse. You should have placed your best foot forward in the video. That is to say, me. And what sort of garbage just came gurgling out of your mouth? Uh, I don't know if you'd be the best to attract a global audience, so... You have a pretty limited appeal amongst a certain demographic. What? What is this talk about limited appeal in a certain demographic? Neptune's right about Vert. Your plan would have worked best if you had me star in that video. See, that makes even less sense. I'm clearly the most popular. You cats can claw each other from the second fiddle, cause I'm the main character, so yeah, I'm the best. Since when does being the main character automatically equate to being the best? Many leads are ranked quite low. All this nonsense aside, I'm clearly the most popular of all. No, that would be me. Shut it, you hacks! I'm the greatest of all! Whoa, whoa, and I just told you that I'm number one by default! This is taking a strange turn. Jeez, it's all you and your sister's fault. Hey, Rom, who's number one to you? I don't know. The time has come to settle this matter once and for all. Yeah, let's find out who's really the most popular among us. 
I propose a vote. Democracy! I'm in! Oh no, this is going to tear hearts. And thus, an unexpected twist. A global election to determine who is the most popular CPU begin. Okay, technically, in the real world, it's Noir. I hate to say it, but Noir is the most popular among Neptunia fanbase. For reasons. Hey, Planetunians! You'll vote for me, right? Please vote for my sister! Not voicing that. My voice is... my throat is dead. We'll do a walking tour from Block 7 to Block 11 today. Uni, you and the staff monitor the situation from HQ. Another walking tour? Why do I have to do this too? Less whining, more monitoring. We won't lose this competition. Buy as many headshots of me as you can. Fine. Hey everyone, vote for my sister and you'll get a coupon that lets you pat her right on the head once. Please line up. Oh god, that's embarrassing. Oh, poor blonde. Oh my god. Well, the things people do for fame and popularity, I guess. I'm not voicing that. I need to stay calm and endure this. It's all to be number one. <laughs> Everyone is beating feet and sweating outside. How archaic! Votes these days are all gained online. With support from various websites and forums, I shall acquire votes from all across the globe. Those idiot CPUs are running a popularity contest? I can't believe they have the ego for this crap. Still, it's interesting. I was bored, so maybe I'll try and ruin their fun somehow. And thus days pass until the time comes to count the ballots. The time has come. Yeah, we'll finally learn who is the most popular of all. No grudges, please. Doesn't matter, I know I'll win. How much longer is the count going to take? Just a bit more, please. Well, with so many to count, this sort of thing takes time. I have no idea why I'm doing this. My sentiments exactly. This clearly goes beyond what I was stated in my contract. Look at all the work you have made for everyone, Neptune. Hey, Rom, check it out! I made a rad paper airplane! I made an origami train. No, children, you mustn't play with the citizens' voting ballots like that. Yes! One more vote for my darling sister! And this one? What? Why are there no more for my infallible Bert? Even the oracles got dragged into it. Aw, let's just get this over with. We're all done. Took you long enough. It is quite a wait indeed. Hurry and tell us the results. <sighs> Some of us are clearly so excited that they couldn't stay awake. Alright, so each oracle will announce the votes for their respected nation, starting with Planet 2. Must I go first? Very well. Neptune has 123,456 votes. Whoa, that's a straight in the poker land. I'll go next. For last station, Noir has, hmm, odd, 123,456 votes, the exact same amount. Neck and neck with her? Someone counted wrong. Among everyone here, you really think I'd be the one to err with numbers? Um, sorry to intrude, but Blonde also has 123,456 votes. I just realized that the numbers are just the numbers in order. One, two, three, four, five, six. Really? What? If those three have the same, that means my darling sister has one. Now then, the count to end all counts. My dearest Vert's tally is 123,405. Chica, be honest. You know how much I detest cheating and rage quitting and the like. Right. Uh, 123,456 votes. A four way tie, huh? That makes no sense at all. Oh, 
Blonde's boats must have included both Rom and Ram, so that lands her squarely in last place. What the hell are you talking about? Nobody said the CPU candidate's boats wouldn't count! Should that rule be put into effect, then I am the winner after all. But we were too busy counting the people's votes to cast our own. So wait, after all this fuss, it's a draw? Then what was the point? Since Neptune had a head start with her promotional video, she has no more votes than any of us. So she loses. I have no objection to that ruling. Then it's between us three. Hey, what are I going to say? Oh, hold it right there, you broads! <sighs> Damn it, my alarm didn't go off. Show's over, idiots! In the name of ASIC, this... Uh-oh, they found someone that hasn't voted! <laughs> oh no! What? You're creeping me out. Someone say something! Like the old, like the, oh crap, underling line, or the you again comment. Did you vote, underling? Huh? Like hell I'd vote. Who'd ever vote for any of you? Hmm, so you're the combo breaker or whatever. This will decide the victor. But of course, you will be casting her vote for me. What are you all mumbling about? Those stairs are pretty scary. Tell us, babe, who's your fave? As if there could be any doubt. If you won't say what I want to hear, I might just have my way with you until you give the right answer. Noir, don't say it like that. Remember, if you vote wrong, I'm going to kill you. I, I have no idea what's going on, so I'm out of here. She's avoiding the draft! You'll never outrun us. Capture her and lock her up! I'll chase you into the depths of hell! Everyone's gone. I almost feel bad for Underling. Yeah, poor misunderstood thing. But hey, at least I can wash my hands of this mess now. Okay, cool. Neptune and Nepgear learn their couple skill. I think that's a great place to end the episode. And also, hilariously, I cannot believe that mm, Underling was see. just chased down. What a funny way to end the episode. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had as much fun as I did, and I hope to see you in the next episode. So next time on Hyper Dimension of Teen Year 2 Sister Generation, Where are we going? we're going to do some more events, and then hopefully be able to beat the final boss. I think that's a very fitting end for the 20th episode of Rebirth 2, don't you? <laughs> all right, everyone. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. This is the next Queen, signing off. Bye-bye!